Uh, Alan, just kind of uh, thoughts on uh, going into this game tomorrow and, you know, needing these wins to uh, boost you in the Mountain West and, and where you want to be, I guess, when the tournament comes around. Uh, I think the next four games are pretty uh, key for us in terms of seeding, getting a nice seed, and uh, hopefully we get a win streak going and carry some momentum into the tournament. I asked Kevin the same question, but how close is this team to getting things rolling, stringing some wins together and making a little of a run towards this tournament? I think we're confident as a team, and uh, we believe in our capabilities. And if we can execute our game plan the way that we're supposed to, I think we put ourselves in a good position. And as for uh, as for the fans, would you tell them, you know, people, a little doubt and come to a game? What do you tell them to keep the support here at the community and get people out in this game? I just think that uh, the more support we have, it, it, it definitely gives an impact on the game. I mean, when the crowd is really into it, and you know. I hate to say that the, the crowd brings energy to the building, but at some point it does, and it does have an effect uh, when we go in other places, you know, like the next door. And uh, if, if people can come out and, and, and help us get this done, then it would be a lot better for us. Lastly, for me, just talk about the season for you, man. It's uh, kind of a new thing going on at Fresno State with you. Just uh, in your own words, how's this season been for you? Uh, it's been up and down, I would say, in terms of, you know, just wins and losses here and there. and. Uh, I just think that we're finally getting to our, our own little group uh, with each other, learning where each other's going to be on the, on the court, and uh, hopefully it transgress over into a few games. Still happy with coming to Fresno State? Oh, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Alan, can you talk about the last two games, two overtime games, uh, two points in Wyoming, a loss, 11 points in Nevada, a win. What finally clicked? What clicked for you guys down the stretch in Nevada? I think we finally overcame that wall that we've been trying to overcome for, I mean, I guess it's seemingly for the last two years, you know, being in close games and tight games. I think we finally found a way to, to execute at the end of the game so that we can come away with a win, and uh, we showcased that against Nevada. And uh, how do you guys parlay that, you know, ability to execute down the stretch? How do you make that uh, a, a point of focus these last four games, get out of the conference cellar, get out of a playing game to uh, determine? Just making a conscious effort to, uh, to maintain that. Uh, we know how it felt at the end of the game. Uh, we weren't, you know, no one was afraid or scared or didn't want to take the last shot. So I think um, with, with going, going about it in, in that sense and, and really eager to get out there and play, we could have a chance. Boise State's one of those games that you guys were in it in the second half. Um, you guys carry that mind frame into this game, knowing that you competed last time in their building. Maybe should have come away with the win, didn't happen, but you got another chance tomorrow night. Yeah, we have a great uh, opportunity tomorrow night to go out and get it done. And uh, I think if we execute like we're supposed to, we can we can do that. Sweet. All right. Thanks, Al. Yep. Appreciate no it, man. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.